studied. And so a lot of people, a lot of comments come in saying that you guys, for example, abuse the female dogs. It's like one of the star phrases they use to all these people. They call themselves animal rights activists to me. They are not animal rights activists. Uh, animal rights activists, I think, are people like Juanma and me who truly love animals. That would be another. I mean, I had the first big question. Pet breeders, you wear out dogs. You are very bad people. Exactly. That's I think the first thing, good. guys, is to make it clear that the legislation is no longer at our level, but rather in the legislation, in the laws. With respect to legal breeding, it doesn't say anything, nothing at all, about how many litters they are allowed to have. Uh, listen to what Pablo says. It's a shame. It time. does not say anything at all, only talks about the, the topic of breeding or not. How to do it legally, obviously. Uh, but they don't say how many litters each dog can have. How to manage the issue of puppies? How do we know which puppies were born? I decide how many have gone uh, well. How many That's of so us have greetings. not done well? What a shame. I love you. Readers, one of you are exhausting the dogs. Oh, really? Who has to legislate that, sir? Uh, first, there needs to be legislation, a law that says so. Or oh, the dogs, or the dogs, or either the sheep or Thank whoever you, it is, will have a maximum of three cameras. Perfect. Larry, let's come to an agreement. Well, let's not agree if they are the Holy Inquisition, if they who know so much and ignore the people who know, they will say they will have at most three beds. Perfect. From there, if you are not legislating it and you leave it uh, at the free will of people, you find that in life, human beings, there are good, bad, irregular people who... That has an ethical code and people who don't. And so when... that causes a lot of harm. What happens with that? Because it causes a lot of harm. As there are people who do not have an ethical code, who may be legal or illegal breeders. Uh, they may have 50 liters with one female. It's legal, it's legal. That's what's shameful. Uh, that these people who legislate us, who are the great minds, so intelligent, so privileged, they haven't regulated it then, when you distribute blows. Uh, what a scoundrel. The first one who needs a beating is the politician. You should be ashamed for not legislating well and not making fair laws. And in conditions to protect animals. There it is, there it is. And as a second part, others here now. And we have our own ethical and moral code. Why? Because we believe it is necessary, we believe it is the right thing to do, and we believe it is logical. Exactly. We don't the accept politicians that. politicians don't do it? Exactly. Well, a lot of people them, right? say, oh, well, since they, they don't say anything, I can have whatever I want and abuse the female dogs, whatever no. I want. So that, that is done, but here, things are different. So we only talk about the people who do things right, who do it responsibly. As I always say, it doesn't matter if they do it legally or illegally, the important thing is to do it responsibly. Obviously, you have to be legal. Good but sometimes bye. there are people who do things legally, but are not doing things completely right either. And sometimes things are very easy. If they are simple from the heart, how do you do things from the heart and with love? Uh, things done from the heart and from the barrel of love are done well. Don't mistreat the females. Uh -huh.